Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your DJI drone camera in manual mode. The first thing let's do is let's turn on the histogram. Go over to the three lines under the white button on the right and press it or tap the screen. And I want you to tap the gear icon on the right of this window. Then notice where it says histogram, touch on the little button and we now have the histogram active. Now let's go back to the round button to the left of the gear icon, and let's press the M for manual. We're now on fully manual mode with the camera. Next, click anywhere on the screen to deactivate that window. And let's take a look at what we have here. First, we've got the histogram. And if we click on that histogram and drag it around, you'll notice that we can position it wherever we want. I'm going to position mine in the bottom right here. Now let's take a look at the three things that control how the camera takes pictures. I'm going to use the wheel on the right side of the controller and I'm going to push on it like a button. And that's going to change me between ISO, shutter, and F or F-stop. It's also referred to as aperture. Now I'm going to leave my F-stop or aperture at 5.6 because that's about as large as I want it to be to get the sharpest photographs. So then I'm going to go back to shutter and I'm going to start rolling the wheel one direction. It slows down the shutter speed. The other direction, it increases the shutter speed. So now I'm going to keep increasing that until I get what looks like is a pretty balanced histogram. Although it's a little dark in the areas on the ground, if I roll if I roll back the other direction and increase that speed a little bit, we just have to be careful that we don't blow anything out. As you see, the histogram doesn't push past the top of the histogram window. If you're used to histograms on other cameras, sometimes it will push past the top. With the DJI camera, the histogram does not do that. So this looks like a pretty good setting to me. The sky is pretty bright, but this is probably the best we can do. Now, if I roll back, if I roll back the other way, and I keep increasing shutter speed, you can see that the left side of the histogram is starting to push up to the top and we're getting too dark. So again, we want a fairly balanced, uniform distribution across that histogram window. So I'm gonna bring it back down again. And again, that looks pretty good. Now, the other things that we can do if we need to is we can change ISO but as I talked about in ISO, the higher we get in ISO, the bigger the number, the more noise we're going to introduce into the photograph. Now I'm going to push the button again to select ISO because that was the last thing that I selected. And I'm going to move that back down again. And I'm always going to try to shoot at 100. You always want to try to shoot at the lowest ISO you can. In this case, we can use 100, so I'm going to. The last thing I want to show you is how to adjust the white balance from this screen. If you touch where it says 6500K WB cloudy, that's going to give us the ability to select. We can select auto, we can select sunny, or any of the other options. The fact that today is cloudy, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, touch anywhere on the screen, and off we go. The next thing I want to do is touch on the screen and autofocus will focus on that point. Don't forget to take the picture. I hope this video has helped you get your drone set up in manual mode. Go out, take pictures, explore, fly safe and have fun.